hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening you welcome back to my channel my name is olivia if you just see me for the first time thank you welcome i'm a nigerian migrant who lives here in south africa and i make various content so please do well to subscribe to this channel if you're not yet subscribed and um yeah to all my returning subscribers thank you and welcome so in today's video i'll be talking about um nigeria and tribalism okay the last one or two videos i made i compared nigerian nigerian politics to south african politics okay so i just want to talk about what played out in lagos lagos nigeria in the last gubernatorial election it was so saddening that uh, the height of tribalism that happened in nigeria this period is something i don't know in that video i don't know if i can find that comment in the video i made somebody said the problem of nigeria is tribalism the problem of the politics in nigeria is mainly tribalism and godfatherism yes that is the major problem of nigeria the major problem of nigeria politics is tribalism comparing to south africa i have never heard anywhere that south africans talk about oh this is zulu this person is a zulu this person is a corsa this person is a vendor i don't know if it happens but personally i've never experienced it personally i've not heard i feel south africans are not tribalistic as nigerians so i want that to this video south nigerians are more tribalistic than south africa south africans are not tribalistic i've never heard where a zulu cannot vote in northwest or a corsa cannot vote in kzn or a corsa cannot vote in eastern cape have, or a corsa cannot vote in johannesburg or a zulu cannot vote in johannesburg like really seriously who does that where have that kind of thing happened before my dear brothers and sisters it happened in nigeria mm -hmm. the last elections in nigeria has in 2023 in those age and time has been nothing to write home about aside from how they rigged the presidential election how they imposed their choices on we nigerians that kind of thing i said it before i'm saying it again it can never happen in south africa it would never have been south africans again it happened that after the presidential election was read in nigeria and people's choice was p2b and p2b did not win he was clearly voted for but the opponent or the opposing party which is apc rigged the election and they made Sinibu, who is not our choice they made him the president elect okay can never happen in south africa i say it again i i i don't miss words the worst thing played out with the last gubernatorial election if you're hearing voices is my baby she's just a bit cranky okay so in the last gubernatorial election apc wanted to also win lagos states by all means there was another younger guy that that came out for from labor party Wadebo. i don't even know him. Wadebo. what i can't pronounce is your brand name okay they say um they start pushing the narrative oh he's not yoruba he's not yoruba this guy's mom is an Igbo, but his dad is yoruba which in the culture of nigeria makes him a full-blooded yoruba they say pushing the narrative that he's not yoruba how can a, how can an Igbo be a governor in lagos state so the guy went and brought out all the proofs that he is a real yoruba what manner of tribalism is that have i ever heard heard in south africa where a zulu and a Kosa probably intermarried and the child of the man who is probably the Zulu, the, the Zulus will say no, he's not part of us because his mom is a Kosa. That means he's a Kosa, he's not a Zulu. Really, this is what happened in, in Nigerian politics. They rigged the election once again and they rigged the election in the most awful manner to the extent that in Lagos on the election day, the worst form of rigging, do you know what they did this time around? In Lagos, okay, Lagos is like the business hub of nigeria just like johannesburg i'll call it the business hub of south africa okay if you're south african here if you've you, if you always hear of nigeria I'm, I'm sure you'll always be hearing of lagos lagos is like johannesburg of south africa that's what lagos is to nigeria so in lagos a lot of tribes are in lagos the Igbos are there the yorubas are there the houses are there and mind you the Igbos, yorubas houses are not the only tribes in nigeria we have more than 100 tribes in nigeria but these are you know the majority just the majority the one that people hear mostly is the those three tribes but they are not the only tribes in nigeria but in lagos those the Igbos are in 
lagos as well as other tribes that's my point exactly the Igbos and other tribes cohabit peacefully in lagos politicians brought out this narrative that the Igbos want to overtake lagos that lagos is a yoruba land yes quite all right lagos is in in yoruba land but doesn't mean that the Igbos wanted to take over it's just like coming to say oh the zulus are from kzn the zulus want to take over johannesburg like who says that what happened is that they i don't know is johannesburg in what is in how right yes how johannesburg is in how what tribe is in how please tell me on the comment section because i don't really know i know that a lot of tribes every all walks of life in south africa they live in johannesburg so i don't even know the tribe that owns johannesburg but i know that lagos is own is owned by yorubas but a lot of other nigerians settled in lagos live in lagos marry from lagos do everything in lagos on the day of the last election they refused that the Igbos will not vote that was the height of it talks the apc brought out their talks and um they began to you know scare people and intimidate people and tell people that if, if you're an Igbo you mustn't come and vote who does that that was the height of it for me i've never heard that kind of tribalism before in the same nigeria and they say we are one nigeria and tomorrow nigerians will say oh eh, the south africans this this and uh, white people are racist white people are this and in the same nigeria within the same country in the same people within our people our people is saying oh if you're from this tribe you can't vote you can't exercise your franchise your civic duties your civic responsibility to your country that you can't do it in your own country guys i just wanted to give you the round off of how, why i say that nigerian politics can never be south african politics the way politicians have monopoly of things the way politicians are above the law and the way politicians get away with things in nigeria the ruling parties it can never be south africa it would never have happened in south africa this kind of thing can never happen in south africa south african politics is top notch south african politics if you do anyhow you go collect if you do anyhow you appear in the court of law that is a country a, f a functioning country a country that functions a country that that no man is above the law in nigeria all those big politicians all those godfathers are above the law how can a godfather of a state use people they call Agwebra? Agwebra are like thugs. They use them to prevent people from voting in Lagos, prevent the Igbo Nigerians to vote, saying that the Igbos want to come and take over Lagos, that they're not going to vote. I mean, what form of tribalism is that in 2023, in this age and time? That's the height of it. Guys, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know how to say it. I just want to say nigerians are the most tribalist people in the face of the earth right now yeah nigerians are the most tribalistic people in africa i don't want to hear any nigerian complaining oh in america you see racism in germany you see racism in south africa you see racism or you see xenophobia i don't want to hear it because what happened in nigeria and nobody has been brought to book presently nobody i have not had any arrests made or people that we are preventing people from coming to vote nobody has been presently arrested nobody has been charged to court they know the perpetrators of this of this evil act yet nobody has been brought to book nobody has been even been charged that's why i say nigerians cannot be compared to south africans when it comes to politics when it comes to organization when it comes to a system that works when it comes to a lot of things yes south african politics is a very advanced politics south africans are not are not tribalistic whoever made that comment on my comment section saying that the problem of nigeria is tribalism this election has not happened as at that time but i kid you not that is the main problem of nigeria tribalism and nepotism is the main problem of nigeria that's why nigerian politics still remains the way it is godfatherism people being above the law nigerians not calling a spade a spade people supporting evil in the name of oh i'm a yoruba i'm an house i'm an evil i'm this i'm that in this age and time guys i can't even do i just want to come here and rant and talk and i'm saying i don't know the way forward nigeria has really disappointed me in this election like in 2023 if 2023 election can still happen in 2023 like this i don't know the future of nigeria people keep saying that this is the worst election nigeria has ever conducted and i believe it the rigging and the crime and every evil that happened in nigeria and togri is or was 
on another level like the president is not our president the president is not our choice most of the governors impose themselves on us the president imposes himself on us all the all of them they impose themselves on us if apart from one or two states anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you watch this up until now please share this video share share South African share, share so that when the Nigerian starts to start say, Oh, this is you tell them, Look at look at what your sister said. Share this video, tell me what you think on the comment section. Do you think it was fair enough for people to be asked not to vote in their own country because that is not their tribe? Just tell me on the comment section. Thank you, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up, share this video, comment, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.